Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 80. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we're here now on Maple Valley. Lovely little uh, racetrack. Very orange. Middle of autumn. On... I always found it strange that most of the tracks are in the summer in this game, but this one, for some reason, they just decided, ah, it's autumn. I would be honest, it's quite a nice track, though. Just... Let's try that again. The design of um, Maple Valley has always been quite a nice one. I think Maple Valley as well was the very first race we actually did in Motorsport 1, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Which is quite cool. Uh, obviously, Motorsport 2 it wasn't because all of the first races are literally around the test track, so... Guess who's back? Back again. Shady's back. Tell your friends. Ugh. The engine noise of this car is just... It's just ridiculous. It's just a droning noise. Like, it's going so slow, I don't even get a chance to come out of third until about this point. Literally, that whole middle section of that track is just in third gear. No other gears exist for this car, apparently. Hundred and twenty-three, though. Not too bad. Luckily, we won't have to be driving these slow cars for long. I know when it comes to the uh, actual like, drag racing events, we're going to have um, quite an experience trying to uh, learn how to tune in this game, because I'm going to have to do some tuning for that. Because there's no point in us picking the best car, because there's no corners, we just need straight line speed. Bad.
this is, this race is actually going a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Um, I actually, now that I think about it, one minute fifty six. Yeah, we're going to be looking at about ten minutes for this race, anyways. So nothing out of the ordinary. I know for a fact I've got to um, have a look when it comes to drag racing ones. Uh, I need to have a look at a specific car because apparently in this game there is a car that is very fast if you take it. And that should hopefully absolutely destroy any other car that we go against when it comes to the drag racing. Um, I don't know what class it is, but I will have to find out. So yeah, before the end of uh, Motorsport 3, I'm going to have to upgrade my capture card ready for Motorsport 4. Um, I probably should have done it before I started Motorsport 3, to be honest, but oh well. But yeah, I need a new capture device. Oh, come on, this is so slow. <laughs> oh, this car's hideous. Hate it with a passion. Come on, come on, come on. The little pink Yaris. Is doing its job very nicely. Not bad. You know, for a front-wheel drive car, this is actually not too bad. I have driven worse. I have driven better, though. Look at that. One second slower than our last lap. I doubt very much that we're going to be improving times. There's not really much improvement to be made. Especially with a car as unstable as this. Look at the body roll. It just leans. <laughs> we got a 26 second gap between us and the car behind. Which is alright. I'll take that. More gap equals better. It's a very simple equation.
Jim, we might actually finish this race and it come under 10 minutes. Come on, let's see if we can do it. There we go, under 10 minutes. Impressive. Oh look, it's Slideshow Simulator. Right, 16 grand. I'll take it, we've got two more races to go. All right, here we go. It's Yaris time. <laughs> Yaris around the Le Mans circuit. <laughs> Literally the track where some of the world's fastest cars go around. And we're taking what is pretty much a fucking snail. <laughs> Just paint it in brown. Call it the snail car. Bonk. too bad the first um first of three hairpin corners done can't believe we're in a, a minute into the race it feels like we're <laughs> we are going at snail's pace actually Cut a bit of a corner there. Let's try and avoid that. Preferably. That's our first lap done. I am very surprised at how long that lap has taken because this race is supposed to be very short. But it's taken us a really long time to get around it. Like, it's a 10 mile race. Some of the other ones that we've done already have been 15 miles. But by the looks of it, it's going to take us the same time as it took us to do, like... I don't know, the New York circuit was really long. Sure, there wasn't a lot of corners. But that was like 13, 14 miles. And it's going to take us longer to do this track. So that is 2 minutes 19 on the first lap, but I believe there's a split time coming up. And uh, we've already missed it. Let's see if there's another one coming up. I assume there's one on this straight here. <laughs> Apparently not.
lovely. About about seven seconds faster. Six point six. Pretty good. I'll take that. Good result there. Sixty kilometer an hour speed limit for a pit lane. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. I think I need to look at getting like a NAS storage drive thing or something. Something to save all of my YouTube videos to. Not bad. All right. We're on to the final lap now. What's the time? I haven't got my watch on, for fuck's sake. Just lifted my wrist and it was like, ah, look, skin. <laughs> oh yeah, I forget these little tiny cars you don't shift down into first, like ever. You'll shift up out of it once and that's when you start the race. Everything else you do is always in second. Very excited for um, actually starting Motorsport 4. I think it's going to be quite fun. And I'm also excited to finish Motorsport 4 because then Horizon 1 comes through and that's going to be pretty cool. Playing through Horizon 1. Horizon 1's just hit 10 years as well. 10 years since that game came out, which is awesome. So the Horizon series is 10 years old. I remember playing Horizon 1 when it came out, so brings some nostalgia to the table. Alright, Circuit to Catalonia. Catalonia! 
quite possibly the worst racetrack on the Formula 1 calendar today. I just don't get why this track even exists. To be perfectly honest, like... That's a blurry TV. <laughs> It's blurry. I can see. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. Got a roll obstacles in my way. <laughs> Two point two second lead. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Danke. Danke schön. What is? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty impressive, right? This track is so much longer than Le Mans, but it seems to take us only about 10 seconds more to do this track. Actually, it depends. We're actually... Might be a bit longer. Sounds good. Right, two more, uh, three more laps to go. Jesus Christ, I really can't fucking count today. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Oh, I have no clue why my prediction said that I'd probably finish this game by Christmas. I mean, I know I started it in September, but there is no fucking chance. I mean, at the time of recording, I'm uploading episode 76 now. This is probably episode 80, I think. So, I'm going to be recording two more today. And tomorrow, I'm hoping to record four episodes. Basically, every, like, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the next four weeks, I'm planning on recording 12 videos. 
so. 12 videos between them, not in one day. Jesus Christ, that fucking killed me. Because that way I can get my backlog back up. Um, and it doesn't stress me out too much. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm obviously not going to do any streaming. Because I think I need to focus on other stuff as well. Uh, and Saturday and Sunday will stream when I feel like it, if I feel like it. Probably be a couple hours of rallying on the weekend. Maybe some other racing game. Who knows? Because I know I don't. Ah, oh, shut up. I'm being asked, can I call? No. <laughs> I love the fact that Google, now with their auto-reply things, every time there's a question, you can respond with sure, yes, or no. <laughs> I just press the no button. It doesn't really do a great job of working out the message and figuring out an appropriate response, like can't right now, maybe later, or whatnot. It's just yes, or no, or maybe. But maybe only applies to some questions. Right, we have one more lap to go. I'm actually looking forward to uh, driving the American, uh, not the American, the Australian V8s. Because uh, Australian V8s are actually quite cool looking cars. Look, the TV's clear now. It's not blurry. Nice. Couple more corners left to go. And then we're done with this race. And this car. You can get rid of it. Bin it. Burn it. good come first place there 11,000 xp we're up to level five as well 
a 10% discount on pistons and compression upgrades. Compression. Yeah. Thank you very much for my bonus credits. Oh, look, 777. The lucky number. Very lucky number. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.